Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into 904 Seward number one. This apartment sort of has a, a left space, a big living room extended by a sunroom and the bedroom, big bedroom. In the middle, we have the bath and an entry closet, which I will show you in a second. And to the right, we have a big formal dining room, really big, and a big kitchen, which I will show you in a moment also. Before we go further, I'm going to open up the closet right in front of the front door. And we have a nice um, entry closet that's probably a little less than three feet wide and a little less than two feet deep. We see we have two shelves and a hanging bar, so you can definitely get your coats up. And you can hang hangers in, in uh, shelves too. So nice entry closet. We will catch, we'll go to our left and we'll catch the bath on the rebound. This apartment has dynamic water pressure. And we'll take our first look at the living room into the sunroom. Um, it's a nice big living room. It goes quite a ways that way. In fact, I think I'll walk in and walk to my right. Actually, I'll give you your first look at the uh, bedroom. Son of a gun, come on now. There we go. There's your first look at the bedroom. As I turn around, you see that we have this great big space. We have shelves, what was probably a closet at one time. The doors are off shelves on the uh, right and left of it. Uh, there is a uh, cable hookup right in the center of that area. In total, I think it's probably, probably 12 and a half feet wide there and maybe about nine feet long. Well, let's say eight feet long and be conservative, but it's extended by this very pretty sunroom, which is another four feet in length and maybe eight feet across. The windows are facing north and west. The windows are newer. You can see this middle window is where they have the air conditioner. You're looking out onto Seward. There's a lot of green here. That window is just overlooking your front door. But looking back from the sunroom, we see it's a great big living area. And of course, there is a ceiling fan in the living area. Look out the window real quick. Show you across. So there you see the demarcation of the sunroom. And then we look outside and we get the living area. If we go past the living area, past the big radiator, we walk into the uh, bedroom, which has got to be nine and a half, ten feet across, and much more like 12 and a half, 13 feet long. This would fit a king-size bed, easily fit a queen-size bed. If I walk in, Big window uh, facing north. You see another radiator. This has a ceiling fan, also. Just a very big, you can hear my voice echo. Some nice big space. You can see that we're in a residential area. You see the single family homes across the street, which is really nice. And we have another closet. This closet it goes back a ways and it's probably, I'd say, about six feet wide, a little less deep, maybe a foot and a half or less deep, but it's got two hanging bars, so it's a pretty sophisticated closet system, and then there's a hook on the door, which is nice. So if I turn around from the closet, trying to show you the floor space of the uh, bedroom, you can see it's actually quite a big area gets good natural light, ceiling fan, it's a great location. Now, remember that the apartment hasn't been cleaned because there are a lot of little odds and ends laying around. So let's walk through towards the living room, towards the front door, and before we go further, we'll take a quick stop into the bathroom. Bathroom is a nice bathroom with block window, glass block windows, 
uh, two light fixtures, a medicine cabinet, smaller sink, but nice cabinet, tank toilet. The only thing about it is that it hasn't been cleaned. Otherwise, it's terrific. If we open up the uh, medicine cabinet, we see there's, whoops, daisy three shelves and there's lighting right above it. There's the light switch. Um, we'll close that up. The tiles are all very clean uh, and it hasn't been cleaned. So it's just the way it is. The glass block has a vent in it. There is a towel bar and a radiator in the bathroom. Standard tub, maybe a little bit lower, but tremendous water pressure. And we could literally disperse a crowd with that. So great water pressure. It drains beautifully. We're gonna shut that off. That's just the hot water. That's just the hot water. And the sink has good water pressure too. Also drains beautifully underneath the sink can be used as storage. <laughs> You've seen a commode before, and that's what they look like. We have ceramic tiles, small ceramic tiles for the floor. So it's really a nice, very usable bath. And it does have an extra um, light fixture in the middle of the ceiling, so that's really nice. So we'll come out of the bath. I'm gonna show you what it looks like through the sunroom one more time. There you go. And then we'll come around, we'll walk past the front door. Oh, son of a gun, there we go. Past the front door in the entry closet. And we'll take our first look at this big dining room. So this dining room is probably, oh, 12 plus feet long, 12 and a half feet long, by 10 feet across. The windows are, uh, facing north into the, uh, I'm sorry, they're facing east into the building next to us. So you don't get a lot of view, but there is a lot of space. And if I go towards the window, it's actually, this is the same building that we're in. It's just the Elmwood side of the building. There you see a corner of the front door, and it's just a great big room that can be used both as a dining room and an office. I mean, you could put a lot in here. We're gonna go into the kitchen. As we enter the kitchen, we see the uh, refrigerator, which is probably about five feet, nine inches high, ceramic tile floor. Every room is large in this apartment, so the kitchen is not any different. You see all the cabinet space, tremendous cabinet space, tremendous counter space, full-size stove, stove hood, ceiling fan, twin uh, stainless steel um, sinks, and a hose attachment for, for your um, dishes. And there are drawers around the top. Underneath, we have nice deep storage for pots and pans or appliances, which is really nice. We'll turn this on and continue. Now we're missing a piece right here, but we'll put that in. But there's your great hot water pressure. Drains nicely. Underneath can be used for storage, which is also great. I'm gonna show you just the small cabinets while I can. So I don't have to repeat that too often. There's no shelving in the smaller cabinets, but it's good space. The tile and all very nice. The counter is a landmark, but it looks like stone. There are outlets. To show you these cabinets again. Two feet high. Each shelf is three shelves. Each shelf is 10 inches deep. You can see we've got lots of outlets all the way around so plenty of stuff there more drawers and lower cabinets which is great by the sink we have the dishwasher which is full size 24 inches across ready to be used the stove is squeaky clean 
Doesn't look like our last tenant's cooked very much. It still needs to be cleaned a little on the inside, but you can see, I'm trying to show you something where my shadow doesn't ruin it. Uh, but it's very, it's very clean, very ready to use. More drawers, more cabinet space over there. More cabinet space here, just to show you that it's all pretty much the same, both the upper and lower, and the lower over here. Very deep, very easy to use. Uh, it's just a nice, nice big kitchen. And again, this hasn't been cleaned. Stove hood has a filter in it, as well as a light, so that's really nice. There is a little back area, a little back deck area. Yours would be small. Just really this space here. But the back is enclosed and very green, so that's kind of nice. We'll go back into the apartment. The laundry is directly downstairs, so that's pretty easy. We'll come back into the kitchen, take a look at the, it's really overwhelming how many cabinets, how much storage there is here. Twin stainless steel sink, dishwasher, stove, lots of counter space, full-size fridge, nice full-size fridge, crisper drawers down below, freezer up on top, it needs to be clean, but everything's in very good shape. We come out of the kitchen. Oops. Give you one last look. And remember, we have that small outdoor area. Through the dining room. Past the entry closet. Take one last look at the living room. The bathroom. And we're just looking through to see the bedroom. Sort of in the middle of the picture. See a sliver of it there. Big bedroom. And that brings us back to the front door. Thanks for watching.